It's a bit of an experiment today, one of my uh, mini challenges. I'm in the car, I'm going to hop over the border into Wales, it's a couple of hours drive. Um, I'm going to activate the Soda Summit of uh, Penny Van, which is uh, the highest Soda Summit in the uh, South Wales region. But uh, I've, I've activated plenty of uh, summits using SSB and uh, 2 meters FM, but I've never activated a Soda Summit using FT8. Now, in theory, I don't think it's going to be that difficult because FT8 is uh, statistically the most used mode amongst amateur radio at the moment. So uh, I don't think getting the contacts will be the problem. If, if anything goes wrong, it'll be the uh, logistics of uh, getting a laptop up there and uh, using it in uh, potentially adverse conditions on the summer. I mean, it, the sun's out at the moment and it's dry, but what it'll be like um, once uh, once we get up to altitude, I don't know. I, I think the weather forecast look the weather forecast is looking pretty good, so I think I think we'll be okay. It's not like it's uh, chucking with rain and uh, blowing a gale. Well, it might be blowing a gale once we get up there. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, I think the problem with it is going to be the practicality of it rather than actually making the contact. So. Uh, We'll give it a go. I, I know I'm not the first person to do this. Several people have uh, experimented with this already. Um, there's uh, reports of it on the uh, some of it's on the Air website in the reflector on the chat rooms there. So uh, I know I'm not the first person to do this, but uh, like I say, just a bit of an experiment. I want to see what the uh, practicalities are of uh, of doing this. There's where I've parked my car, and the first mistake of the day. If I pan round, you can see over here, there's a sign which, to be fair, is obscured by the bushes. It says no parking in turning area. I think I'd better move that. On the plus side though, looking up the hill, it's uh, looking quite nice up there. A bit of light cloud, but not too bad. And uh, there's the uh, track heading up there. Well, it's somewhat misty penny fan we can't really uh, see an awful lot down there because we're in cloud but uh, I've got my seven meter spider beam set up here with my uh, tuner down the base there so running a vertical we're on the uh, 40 meters at the moment FT8 you might just hear the FT8 in the background and a uh, little tablet computer there I don't know how well you can see that but I have made contacts and uh, logging with my uh, iPad down here um, the one thing I'm finding is uh, this setup is a little bit fiddly, especially when you've got cold hands trying to use the touch screen on the uh, tablet, but uh, I have made the required four contacts. Right, so later in the day I'm back home. I'll be honest, I didn't actually bother um, to film the uh, activation with FT8. It would have been uh, quite boring. I was only running basic computer equipment. I didn't have screen capture, so you couldn't have seen what was on my screen. and. Uh, Seeing someone sat on the hilltop uh, tapping away on a tablet computer would have been uh, quite boring. So I said this morning um, the issue would be not making the contacts but the practicalities of it and I was absolutely right. So the first um, unexpected issue I came across is uh, send CQ Soto. You have to set up um, custom macros in the uh, FT8 software which... I did, but I set them up with the intention of uh, activating uh, summits in England. Now, I actually went over the border into Wales, which means my call sign changes from uh, Mike Zero Golf Quebec Charlie into Mike Whiskey Zero Golf Quebec Charlie. So, um, because I hadn't changed, I'd only changed the call sign in the software, but not the custom macros, it kept trying to send out my uh, English call sign as opposed to the Welsh one, which was. Uh, a bit of a problem so that was the first issue and this, which to be honest I hadn't thought of. A uh, second issue was um, just with uh, with it being cold you know fing cold fingers uh, using the touch screen on the windy uh, summit. Not as easy as I would have expected so it's a bit fiddly and third issue is uh, this is the uh, tablet I used in here and um, I mean I didn't think it was all that heavy but 
Well, there's a bit of weight behind that, and I guess added to the rest of the equipment, it was quite a lot to carry up uh, a mountain like Penny Fan. Um, I'm not sure I would have wanted to try it on any of the bigger mountains. So practicality, mm, not really. Um, I did make the uh, four contacts. I've got uh, two into Germany, one um, into G and uh, uh, Oscar Zulu, which I think is Denmark. So I made the four contacts required. I did um, qualify the uh, summit on FT8, but uh, from a practicality point of view, it, it was a bit fiddly to be honest. Um, it was good as a novelty, but I don't think I'll be doing it as, uh, as a regular thing. And by the way, I made those uh, four contacts in about 10 minutes. After that, um, I did have a go on 40 meters, 20 meters and two meters. I made um, I'm just looking at my notes here. I made uh, 13 contacts on 40 meters, 16 contacts on 20 meters, and 18 on two meters FM, including uh, one um, one of my viewers actually. So uh, I mentioned four. Hang on, let me find my notes with his call sign. Uh, Golf Five X Ray Delta X Ray. I spoke to uh, Callum. Uh, he's down near. Uh, Cornwall, I believe. So, a uh, regular viewer mentioned for uh, Callum, he uh, gave me a shout whilst I was up on the uh, Penny Fan. So, there you go, FT8 from a uh, Soda Summit. It can be done, but like I say, carrying the uh, computer adds weight to the backpack, and uh, it's a bit fiddly on the cold, windy summit when your hands are cold on the small touch screen just trying to uh, um, press all the buttons. So, Yes, you can do it, but probably not the most uh, practical proposition. Mm -hmm.